All right, guys, in this video, I wanna go over how to teach the jerk and the split jerk. Um, keep in mind, if you're teaching these movements to somebody, they have already gone through the fundamentals of the strict press, of the push press, uh, so I'm gonna skip all that um, and just get into the jerk, okay? So first off, we're gonna go into our starting position of the press, go over the good rack position and all the points there. Okay, so first is gonna be the stance. We're always in that power stance, feet directly underneath our hips. Um, we're in that thumbs distance outside the nail and grip. Okay, from here we're in our pressing position. So note the bar is up off my shoulders. That's because I'm extremely stiff. Okay, in a perfect world, the bar would be resting on someone's foundation like so. Okay, so full grip here. Active shoulders, you can see I'm kind of puffing my shoulders up It's because my lats are activated from the side. The elbow is slightly in front of the wrist, not back like so. So drive those elbows forward. We're always making sure the spine is stable. It's a nice big chest, shoulder blades are pulled back and down, and my abs are tight and my glutes are tight. This is gonna be your starting position. Okay, from there we're gonna get into the hip drive. Okay, it's just that dip and drive. We're trying to create lift on the barbell um, by using the legs. So I like to start this just by doing the dip and drive, no press, and watch the athletes see if they can create lift on the bar without actually using their arms. So look like so. Good start position. Okay. All I want to see is that dip drive. You can see the bar jumps up on me. Make sure you cue your athletes to get their face back out of the way so it doesn't clip them in the chin or the nose. Again, dip, drive. There's the lift I'm looking for, so there was no press going on there. Okay, so once you can see they create lift, then we're gonna get into the footwork. Um, just like the clean and snatch, I like to go over this without the barbell first. So we wanna show the athletes their cat stance in the split jerk. So it's gonna be that nice wide lunge. Um, if, num if somebody has never done this before, they don't know which leg um, is gonna be their dominant leg. So a quick test you can do, have them start in hip width, just have them fall forward. Whichever leg they catch themselves, that's probably a good starting point. Um, in the beginning, feel free to have them try both sides and they'll, they'll have one side that's more comfortable. But this is a good drill to use, okay? So a couple key points here. And I'll show you in another video if you want to get really precise on uh, the stance, but today this is just a quick um, general overview of the split jerk. So if you start with your feet in our power stance hip width, you take one small step out to your squat stance. This is how wide we want our base, even in uh, the lunge. Okay, you can see it's still about shoulder width. So what you can have them do is exactly that. Get shoulder width. Give me a nice lunge position, some cues here, um, some uh, main points, as always, midline needs to be braced, okay? My feet have to be straight or slightly toed in, okay? This is huge. Make sure, usually this back foot, you'll start to see new athletes with their toe out. Make sure you cue them to get those in. This creates a stable hip. Um, not, not, you won't have all this uh, unbalanced, okay? This back knee, needs to be bent and this back heel needs to be off the floor okay front knee stays stacked right over the ankle a lot of times you'll get this okay you don't want that knee tracking forward that's hard on the knee so this is what you're looking at upright torso abs tight glutes are tight this is going to be my catch position okay so have them hang here for a bit of, a minute their quads going to be burning that's okay we want them to get used to it we want to develop the strength um, plus it's a good little warm-up um, from there, whenever you want somebody to recover, um, you always want to teach them to bring this front foot back first, so back to the center, and then the back foot back to the center. That's your recovery, okay? So from here, I'm going to have them try to hit that stance without the barbell, okay? So we're going to have that dip, drive, and then catch. So it's going to look something like so. Dip, drive, catch. You're trying to get in that same big lunge, okay? If you notice, you can hear that slamming on the floor. Tell your athletes, don't be afraid to get aggressive. Grip the floor with your toes. Okay, you'll have much more balance. I 
again, looks like so, dip, drive, catch. Okay, have them find a balance, fix anything that's off. Okay, if you have athletes that are a little soft, like so, you know, you're gonna see them all over the place. Um, so have them be aggressive. Dip, drive, catch, much more balance, okay? A lot of athletes will also be on this tightrope. Make sure you get them on this wide base, okay? So once you hit a few without any of the press, everybody's looking good, you're gonna have them do the same thing, but with no barbell. Here we're going for timing. I wanna hear this slam and see this lockout at the exact same time, okay? That's gonna look like so. You can put them in their press position, dip, Drive, catch, find your balance, elbows are locked, and recover, front foot, back foot. Reset, here we go again, dip, drive, catch. Oh, lost balance a little bit, but as long as this is hitting at the same time as the feet, recover, recover, okay? If everybody's looking good, you can even have them try a PVC pipe. For the video, we're gonna go right into the barbell. Get organized, everything looks good. Heel cube go, so dip, drive, catch. Elbows lock out, stance hits, belly's tight, have them recover first. So front foot, back foot, and then we're down. Again, dip, drive, catch, recover, and reset. Okay, for the new athletes, you're gonna get all kinds of things going on. You're gonna have soft elbows. Um, so don't get too complicated. As long as they have their balance, you know, keep the weight light until they can really start to get in good position. Okay, there's your split jerk.